Oh, not quite that many, but the ones that I do have, I've, I really spruced them up for this show. I've, I've got a lot of chameleon paint, got an eagle pot here that I had a, one of my artist friends paint for me, and I've, this year I've converted the engines right side up on the trikes, and which gives it a better thrust line. Uh, allows you to use a longer prop, you don't have to worry about the prop hitting the, your ground anymore. So I raised that up and raised the thrust line and it's a lot easier on takeoff and landings. Now, explain something to me. Everybody else seems to be getting out of ultralights and yet just about, I think all of your airplanes are ultralights. Yes, they're all ultralights. 103 legal. Um, I like that field and it's uh, really rewarding for me because I train everybody that, I, that I'm selling trikes to. So, and everybody that, are, that buys it usually hangs on to them for quite a while. They're so much fun to fly. Seem to be a, a limitation of what you can fly, maybe pilot limitation, because I've seen you out there in some really windy conditions. Oh, yeah. Um, well, it takes uh, experience to fly in rough air, and, and I have quite a bit of experience doing that. I live in the mountains, and I wouldn't be flying in, in wind like it's down here up in the mountains because of the, the mechanical turbulence there. But here it's all straight line wind, and, and it's, you can fly in it 15, 20 miles an hour. So let's have a look at that. This is uh, one of your standard trikes here? Yes. Now, is this how you sell it ready to fly or does it come in a kit for us? No, it comes just like this. So basically somebody just walks in, plunks down their money and they're ready to go to the door with it? Yes. I'd like for them to come in and have some training if they're not already trained. I don't like to give a trike to somebody that hasn't been trained. Take uh, say someone that with average ability, somebody knows how to operate a lawnmower or a tractor or something like that. How long would it take to learn how to fly one? Well, I found the average is 15 hours. Some take 10, some take 20, some take 25. But um, I, I've trained a lot of general aviation pilots, and and they catch on really fast. They're they're like the 15 hour average. Now, what are some of the differences between the units that you? Basically, just the same unit with a few little options. Uh, same unit with different engines. I have uh, four different en engine options that I'm using right now, and and the wing wings can vary from two to three different manufacturers on the wings. Let's start with the smallest engine, and then just work up through the. Uh, okay, the I'm using a, a one-cylinder engine, and you you can have your choice of three different engines on that. You, you can get the. G25 is the NOAA, which is 24 horse. You can get the Hearth 28 horse, uh, and you can get the MZ34 engine, which is uh, about 26 horse. I see you got some little Kawasaki's on here too? Yes, I have a 340 Kawasaki on this one right here, and I have a 440 on this one right here, and the other two back here are, are Rotec 447s. Now, how long have you been doing this? I've been building sky cycles for 12 years. And how many of these are actually out flying now? There's, I've built probably 380 uh, to date. Now, are you a full service facility with training and so on and so forth? Or are you just yes, I have, a full, I have a full training program. I'm a CFI, and I've got my training exemption to, to train with. That's, that's uh, something that I'm really proud that I've got because most other CFIs don't have that yet. So if somebody wanted to get in touch with you for about your uh, aircraft or about a little bit of flight training, that type of thing, what's the easiest way to do it? Well, they can go to my webpage and that's flyhardtrikes.com. <laughs> um, and you got a telephone number for those who want to make sure I tell There's them. a telephone number on the webpage and I have quite a few pictures and videos on the webpage that will explain a lot to them. And, um, you can contact me for the price list and, and set up training. I'm in the Chattanooga area. I'm just west of Chattanooga, about 15 miles. And so, I mean, if you're in the Chattanooga area, you must have lots of room for uh, accommodations and that type of thing. Someone's yes, a lot of accommodations. Thank you very much for your time. Then. All right, you bet.